I'm Carl Hose. I'm a welding instructor at the Lincoln Electric Welding School in Cleveland, Ohio. And today we're going to demonstrate a 3 8 beveled plate test. That's a groove weld test, American Welding Society D11 certification test. We're going to do it in a 4G position, which is overhead. Um, I've got the plates beveled 22 and a half degrees. When you put the two together, you have a 45 degree included angle. Uh, we're going to go with a quarter inch to 5 16 gap. I'm going to set it somewhere in between there. Fit up's real important. Today we're going to be taking this test with a 3 8 thick plate and that covers you up to 3 quarters of an inch material thickness on full penetration welds. On T-joints, lap joints, it would cover you on limited thickness. Um, a lot of contractors test on a 3 8 plate. It's more economical. Some contractors uh, or construction trades have to go to a 1 inch plate. But for today we're going to use a 3 8 plate for this test. Always important to work safe. Uh, today I'm going to be wearing a leather uh, jacket, all leather jacket, because I'm going to be welding overhead and what goes up must come down. Uh, there's going to be some hot metal falling down, so I want to be protected. I have uh, leather gauntlet gloves. I have on uh, some cheater glasses here. These are red line glasses and they're uh, ANSI approved safety glasses, but they also have a diopter 250 for an uh, old guy like me. I also have a cheater in my hood for when I'm welding. These cheaters here are more for looking at my weld afterwards. It's important to inspect the weld uh, when I get done making my first pass, make sure I get all the slag out before I put the second pass in. So I've also brought with me a flashlight to do that inspection with. A lot of people taking this test are starting to get a little bit older. When you get up over 40, 45, sometimes over 50, we start using reading glasses. And uh, welding overhead, it's pretty difficult to use just the reading glasses because you're looking up. So what I like to use is a, what they call a diopter or a cheater lens in my hood. So I have a 250, 250 diopter in here. And that's going to help me see up there. I got, I got to have that to see uh, the seams, the edges. We're going to be welding with a V275S and I have it set for the constant current stick mode. And I have my current set just a little under 125, a little over 100. I'd say I'm probably about 115 amps, which would be pretty good for what I'm doing, right about in the middle of the range. I have my arc force set at zero and the hot start is on. DC positive polarity. And we're going to be using 187018 on a test, but I'm going to tack with 6010. So we're going to be using a 3 8 thick backup bar today. And I've cleaned the mill scale off of that backup bar and off of the 3 8 uh, plate here too, test plate. For the fit up, there's a number of ways I can fit this up, but the, I chose to lay out three backup strips of the same thickness and I'm going to lay my plates on top. I'm going to tack from this side so I can see what I got. Sometimes when you make a tack, things move around a little bit. And if that happens, I can make some adjustments. I'm also going to do a little trick here. I'm going to use a little 6010 to tack with instead of the 7018 I'm going to take the test with. I'll be tacking outside of the weld, so uh, that'll be all right to tack that way. It's easier to tack with 6010 than 7018 if it's allowable per code. I'll kind of gauge this actually by eye, but I can use this quarter inch thick plate and kind of stick it down in there and I give it just a little wiggle, yeah, not that much wiggle, just a little wiggle. I like to have a little bit of room in there. Also you could take a 1 8, uh, I'm going to be using Excalibur 7018 rod, 1 8 rod to make this test and I like to make sure that rod can wiggle just a little bit there. Just a little bit of room in that for the gap, and that should be just a little over a quarter and a little under 5 16 If it's too tight, I'm not going to have room to wet those sides in real good. After I tack, I can still check this other side. What I usually do is pick the plate up, spin it 180 degrees, and if I need to, I can tighten this up a little or spread it to get that adjustment. It actually didn't move very much at all, so I'm going to go with two more tacks right here. I'm going to turn this piece over. Put one more tack on the back right in the middle, okay?
what I don't want to do is put tax in this area. When they take these coupons out to bend them, they take them one inch from the center of the plate. So they go one inch from the center and they take a coupon out. The coupon could either be a three-eighths coupon, which would be bent sideways, or it could be an inch and a half wide coupon, which is uh, one is done as a root bend and one is done as a face bend. So one coupon comes from this area, one coupon comes from this area. To learn more about our welding training programs, visit our website at lincolnelectric.com.